Hey, what's up? My name is Benson. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to grip a skateboard. So let's get into it. First thing that you're going to want to do is roll out a sheet of grip tape. That's the length of the board. So once you roll it out, you can just bend the grip tape and uh, it creates a mark. And then you can just cut it with a blade. And definitely be careful when you're using these blades. So once you have the, uh, the length you need, Give that a little slice. Once you have the length of grip tape that you need, um, you're good to, to get that slapped on your deck. So then you're going to want to remove the uh, plastic on the board. Take off all the promo stuff, all the warranty cards, you can keep that if you want. And then now we're ready to put the grip tape on. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is remove this paper backing from the uh, grip tape, and you can do that. It just kind of splits apart, pull it apart. If your arms aren't long enough to pull it all the way off, what you can do is use your knee and pull it off like that. When lining up the grip tape, what you're gonna wanna do is get your fingers right on the edges and use your fingers to center the grip tape over the length, and then kind of just use your eyes to center it over the width. Basically, as long as you get all the grip tape on top of the board, um, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm using my fingers, I don't know if you can see, to guide the length on both sides. So once I've centered it there, I can use my eyes and center it over the board. And you're just going to kind of drop it right on top. So now you've got your grip tape on top of the board, uh, but there's still all these air pockets underneath. So you're going to start from the middle and push out. and get all of that air out of there. And then just make sure all of those air pockets are gone so everything's nice and flat. And I'm just using my hands to push that down. Once you feel pretty good about that, you can actually take this paper backing and use it to smooth the entire board. Because without this, you just tear up your arms or your hands. So again, just push from the middle out both sides and you shouldn't have any bubbles there anymore. If you do have bubbles, what you can do is take a razor blade and if you find them, you can just give them a, you can just pop them. If there was a bubble right here, you could just pop it. It creates a little hole for the air to escape. Now we have the grip tape on the board. What we're going to do is take a file and file the edges to create an outline you know where to cut. So let's go ahead and do that. Take our file. You're gonna always want to hold it at a fairly straight angle and pull towards you. It's just easiest. And you can see it creates that line so we know where the edge of the board is. So when we're cutting, it just it's an easy guide. So just go around the whole board like that. Now you have the outline of your board. What we're going to do next is take a razor blade and cut the grip tape so we can remove the excess grip tape. So let's go ahead and do that right now. What I'm going to do is take the blade and come from underneath. Uh, it's a lot easier and it's a lot more accurate when you do it from the underside as opposed to trying to cut from the top. So just start by poking it through. You can see the blade kind of pops open, pops through and you can just pull and the grip tape just kind of slices off and you can see how it has just the, uh, just the grip tape on the board. So just go around the whole board like that. And just keep pulling. What you're gonna wanna do is kinda use your thumb to put pressure on the edge of the board and then your pointer finger to pull it so you're pulling it towards you. And then obviously keep your hands off of the edges so you don't cut yourself. Just keep going around. And uh, you just cut off all the grip tape. There's nothing else to do other than, some people like to sand 
the, uh, the grip tape because it makes it a little bit harder for it to peel off. Um, so what you can do is just go right around the edges and, uh, and sand down the, uh, the edges. The last thing you're going to want to do is take some type of tool and poke out the mounting holes so you can see that the holes are right here and you can just take a small screwdriver, poke it right through all four of them, flip the board around, poke it through again, there's your board.